to make some bread Living and working on the land I quit my job and I left my wife I headed out west for a brand new life Just to get away Living and working G'day everyone, it's NQ Explorers again We've just uh, arrived out in the gold fields and set up our camp uh, tomorrow we're going to go out and start uh, hunting for some gold and uh, we're out here for the best part of a week. Might go and look for a few relics in the old town sites and the old um, the old timers camps out here. So uh, out in the morning, you're bright and early. Well, I'm just prospecting down this little creek here. It's a gold bearing creek and uh, a little bit of a gully coming into it here but I mean the old timers worked this uh, area and that's the the bane of the modern day prospector old timers trash I mean this is nothing very exciting it's just a bit of tin but uh, signals everywhere in the creek I mean there could be some gold in here but uh, take some persistence to keep at it I'll keep going I'll keep going down this way and we might uh, we'll dig everything we can we can hear maybe uh, the next piece won't be a bit of tin well, this is the afternoon of our first day out. This morning we did a bit of prospecting down one of the creeks, uh, up and down for a few hours. Didn't have any luck. Went back for lunch. And uh, today I thought in the afternoon we're going to go and look for some relics. But uh, a bit of a story here. <laughs> this little stack of rocks here. I left this here back here in uh, June or July. We're out here. Um, they were giving me good detector signals. And... Uh, some of them got home with me and I crushed them up in the pan and I checked them with that Falcon uh, MD20 that Crampo sent me and uh, they were full of fine gold so I thought to myself I better come and find those I stacked these up behind the car and drove off last time, last time forgot all about them so here they are they're still here so I'll take them home and crush them up and uh, we might get a bit more fine gold out of that so that's a good little uh, start to the afternoon okay well, we're back on the relics this afternoon at a bit of an old timers camp here. This is where uh, Mrs. NQ found that uh, cutthroat razor last time, but it's got a nice mid tone here. And uh, you can see there, the old miner's button by the look of it, old brass button. That'll be um, branded. I'll get the name off it if I can and uh, subtitle it. There we go. The old fellas, we can't write in this spot. Right on to the next target. Well, the old fella's uh, lost more than one button. This is just like the last trip. Another old brass button. Give a great signal, just a mid tone. Uh, once again, I'll, I'll get the brand off it and I'll subtitle it. Okay, good one. Stick in this old camp area. Well, this is uh, one Mrs. NQ just got near my other two buttons. It's the third old button. Slightly higher tone. It's a 62 or a 63 on the AT Pro for you uh, AT Pro users. So I'll get another brand off that one and we'll move on to the next. We just fill in that last button hole, if you can call it that, and uh, check the hole and <laughs> my other signal. That's a little tiny button. I could do a video just on buttons. Little tiny, that'd be like a shirt pocket button. That'll be branded too. I'll get a name off it and subtitle it. Well, you've seen I Rock On 2 have uh, five cent day there in uh, Melbourne. So if we're going to theme day one, it's definitely going to be button day. <laughs> it's got another little button. This could be my sixth or seventh. Within about 30 minutes, another little tiny, um, that'd be a breast pocket button. Okay, button day continues. Well, Mrs. NQ just got another button to add to button day, and uh, I just dug this up another uh, wax matchbox like we were getting last time in the same camp area. Bell and Black number four wax matches. It's not too bad, that box. A little bit squashed. Anyway, we'll take it home. Okay, it's day two out in the gold fields. Yesterday was button day. Uh, I don't know what today's going to bring. We'll, uh, hopefully we'll theme the hunt at the end of the day. But then it'll be a big gold nugget day. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you this. This is, uh, you can see there's termite mounds here. A bright red colour. This one here got the uh, infinium leaning up against. Uh, it's about, you know, five feet high. You get a lot bigger than this, but... The, you, you can tell the, um, how mineralised the soil is by the colour of the mounds. This one's red. You get the grey stuff and then you get the, the boundaries between the grey and the red. It's always uh, good areas to hunt because it's highly mineralised soil. So um, maybe a bit of gold around here, you never know. So um, I'll run around here. 
Well, no gold yet, but we just uh, stumbled across an old timers camp here. We've got uh, a bit of an old fireplace and some old bottles there, with the tops knocked off as usual. Um, and it looks like a few machinery parts laying around. So we'll have a hunt around here for a few relics and uh, see what the old fellas left behind. Some cans, might be some uh, old relics or coins here. Right, we'll just have a look around here for a while. Well, still no gold yet, uh, just done a little breather beside this creek here, but uh, just let you, as far as what we're using today, I've got the Infinium with the 14 inch mono loop coil on it. I haven't found any ground out here that's um, too hot for that to detect into. It's running a lovely smooth signal all the time. Um, I ground balance it in uh, in um, slow ground track and then I set in a lock and I have, uh, haven't have been digging any noisy ground or false signals, so I um, haven't dug any gold either, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's all fun. Still just a beautiful day to be out here. There's Mrs. NQ on the other side of the creek there. She's unstoppable as usual. Um, so yeah, we'll just have a little break. What about this big old fella? We're just having lunch back at the campsite. And he's uh, just come and laid down next to us. He's doing a bit of grooming there. Jeez, he's a big, big uh, grey kangaroo. I haven't seen him here before. There he is, look. Now he's just having a rest in the midday sun. Okay, it's day three, we're out prospecting again. Uh, today we're up in this, we've come up into the hills a bit today to see if we'll try our luck up here. It's a bit of this granite country and uh, we're looking for the quartz intrusions. Occasionally you get the quartz blows that come through this stuff and you find the um, uh, mineralized quartz. So we'll have a poke around here for a, a couple of hours and then we'll go back and have a bit of morning tea. So. Uh, Maybe we'll have a bit of luck today. Well, this doesn't look too good. The old prospecting boots are falling apart. Could be their last trip out. Hope they find something before they get retired. OK, well, I've crossed over from that uh, granite country on the other side of the ridge there. I'm just uh, prospecting down this little uh, creek line here. Country looks more promising. It's a bit of uh, mineralisation, quite a bit of quartz here in the, in the banks there. So um, I've just been running the detector down the base of the creek and along these banks, actually the ground gets really deep really quickly so I'm not going far off this ridge line, I'll just stay in this upper area of this creek and go up and down the sides of the creek. So here we go. Okay, back soon. Well I just came out of that creek line where I was uh, prospecting and uh, this gave me a heart of thump. I've got this lovely high low tone uh, which indicated it could have been uh, gold but I picked this up. It looks like a tiny little, it's lead couldn't possibly be a bullet, it might be part out of a... Oh, I've got no idea what that's out of, it's uh, very small. I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll try to identify it and uh, subtitle it. It, look, it looks like a tiny little bullet, but I couldn't imagine it's a bullet. I'll see if there's any mark. I'll magnify it when I get back to camp, see if there's any markings on it. Right, eh? I'll just keep working down this creek. So, well, it shows you the old timers have been here, any. OK, well, here's Mrs NQ. She's, she's cracked it with the AT Pro. We've just, uh, we dug it out and had a look at it, but we're just, well, we're just showing you the signal there. Just get it with the Pro Pointer. We're right on the top of the hill in this uh, mineralised coarse country. And uh, she's picked up a beautiful little nugget here. Can't find it. Now we can't find it. It's got all dirty again. We haven't cleaned it. Just check it with the... That's it. No. It's in the hole here somewhere. Look at this, it's only an inch down on top of the hill. No, she can't find it. She lost it again. I'm going to have to find it. I'll take it. Okay, well, uh, Mrs. NQ's up on top of the hill here with the AT Pro. You can see this is pretty mineralised country, some red anthills there. And she's cracked it. She's got herself a little nugget here. If you listen to it on the AT Pro, it's in the shovel. What's the reading? 50. 50. Reading about 50 on the AT Pro, same as a piece of lead or something. And it's a beautiful little nugget. Might be a gram or so. I'll just, uh, oh, it's lovely. Lovely piece of solid gold. I'll give it a clean and uh, we'll give it a field clean and I'll just get back to you with uh, with the real deal. It looks like it might have a little bit of quartz on it, but you can see the gold there. 
Okay, we're back in a moment. Well, let's show you where we are. This is this is the old uh, the old uh, dictum goes where you find it. We're on a dead set top of a hill here. It's a, a mound. Now we're near a gully. Here's the piece we just picked up. I've got uh, I'll wait when I get back to camp tonight and get get a weight and I'll subtitle a weight. So there we go. Mrs. NQ with the AT Pro. She's got the piece of gold. Well, we're just searching around this area with Mrs. NQ. Got that little nugget. And I just got these. They are three ringers, I think. Three ring lead bullets. I don't know. Fahrenheit 1100. You're going to have to help me out there. They're, uh, or maybe the Snyders or something. I think a lot of the Australian prospectors had Snyder rifles. So I'm not sure about the calibre. I'll measure them and I'll subtitle the uh, diameter. Okay. Keep hunting around here. Here's Mrs. NQ. Just found that nugget on a hurry to get back to camp to have a bottle of red to celebrate. Getting up it in the Defender there. Okay, it's day four and we're out prospecting again. Could be day five, I'm not really sure. I've sort of lost track of time, which is a good thing. And today we're in this uh, different area today. This little uh, really um, red soil gully with a lot of quartz rubble in it and there's some little quartz blow reefs up on the top of the hill here you can, on this little ridge line. So I'm just running up along this little ridge line. Mrs NQ's down in the gullies behind me so hopefully she can uh, repeat yesterday's performance. So uh, keep going and uh, hopefully we'll get some good signals into it. Well this afternoon we're just doing a bit of exploring of the country so we've come about uh, 10 or 12 kilometres through the uh, savannah country there along the station tracks to the Gilbert River. Magnificent big river. She's uh, only a series of billabongs now but in the wet this thing roars. It's got the width and the size of it. You can imagine the amount of sand in there and there's a couple, there's an island in the middle there. It might be flowing. I've got to go down and have a look there. Uh, that flows north into the Gulf of Carpentaria. So uh, that was worth the drive to come and have a look at that. There she is, the Gilbert River. Well, here we are in the bed of the Gilbert. Uh, she's not quite running. It's not running on the surface, but it runs through all this alluvial sand and all this beautiful clean water. Precious commodity out this way. So there you go. That was worth a drive down to have a look. It's a magnificent big stream. Might have a bit of a dip here, I think. Righto, on to the next adventure. Well, we're down uh, in the Gilbert Riverbed still. We're uh, not looking for gold this time. We're fossicking for agate. There's, you can just pick up the agates down here by eye. It's been a big wet and it's covered a lot of them up, but I just picked up this nice little red agate here. So uh, we'll just keep poking around here, and there's a bit of an island over in the middle with a lot of gravel on it, so there might be some more agates over there. So we'll go and see if we can find some more uh, agate chips like this. or will come down the river. Okay. Well, we're still fossicking, just fossicking by eye in the riverbed here. And uh, it's pretty warm out here today. It's about nearly 38 degrees centigrade, so um, fairly warm in the sun. A little bit of water down there to cool things off, but this uh, little yellow agate here in the ground, just laying on top of the gravel. Oop. There we go. They can probably, they, they're a lot larger upstream, of course. Um, these are only tiny little chips, but um, they polish up beautifully. It's a nice little piece. All right, let's keep along this gravel wash here. I'm just behind this little rock bar here, the middle of the river's way over there where Mrs. NQ is fossicking. But uh, just behind the rock bar here is a lovely big agate here, stuck in the in the wash. A red one. Okay, well that should, uh, they, they polish up really nice if you've uh, got a little lapidary gear. Well we're just on our way back to the camp and there's an emu with a chick. Just having a bit of an afternoon feed. We saw them this morning, they haven't moved very far. May actually be the male, I think the males look after the uh, the chicks. Now the last chick left, so that one will be guarded. I don't get too close, he might get a bit cranky. He's got big, big claws, he's bigger than I am. Look at that, he's not too worried by me actually. The little chick just heading out up there. Yeah, nice bit of wildlife on the way home. Well, we're back on that little spot where we got that little nugget the other day, and uh, I just got another uh, bullet laying on top of the ground. I'll uh, once again I'll measure the calibre and I'll subtitle it, and if uh, 
Yeah, it looks like it's an, it might be an old Snyder or something. I don't know. It's, it's got four, a four ring lead bullet. Okay, on to the next target. Well, it's our last afternoon here now. we are uh, been out here for six days. So we're just going to finish up with a bit of a relic hunt in the old ghost town here. There's a, you can see an old water tank. Here's an old house foundation here, a bit, a little bit of concrete. Not far from where uh, we got that little strippance uh, a couple of months ago. So we'll hunt around here this afternoon until it gets dark and uh, that'll be the end of our little holiday. But um, hopefully we'll be back with some finds. Let's get into it. I'm not far from that uh, water tank just over there. Back up under these thorn bushes where people don't tend to go. And uh, lovely signal, about four inches down. Looks like it's another old uh, brass button. There it is. Another one. I we got all those buttons the other day. I'll uh, get the brand name off that one. So we're uh, got a relic straight away. That's good. Okay, I've got another good hard signal here. Pretty confident it's going to be another button. It's uh, right size, right conductivity. I'm going to risk the embarrassment of a live dig and we'll have a look. So I'll try it here. There's a good signal there. Under this bush again. Let's scratch it gently. We should see when those old antique buttons come out. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, it's a little, uh, really fine little buckle. Um, with the brand name on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's actually that's might be a little brass buckle. It's quite, uh, quite a fine one actually. Okay. Well, <laughs> there you go. There's the embarrassment of the live dig. It wasn't a button at all. But I'll take that. We'll just, uh, have a, I'll just check that hole again and see if there's nothing else in there. Okay, just forward that little buckle. Got another nice medium tone and a good size indicator. This could be a button. Some of the little breast pocket buttons come up um, smaller than a coin size, obviously, and the machine indicates as such, but they can be uh, difficult to pinpoint. They're difficult to pinpoint if you haven't got a pro pointer with you, that's for sure. There you go, it's in the heap. Pro pointers elsewhere being better employed. Hopefully it's finding uh, a bit of treasure. Okay, we've got it in the hand. Oh, there you go, another little button. That is one of the little um, shirt pocket buttons, not one of the front buttons. Okay, well there you go. Relics around this little bush. Oh well, that was our little trip in the gold fields. We've been out here for nearly a week. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, found a little bit of gold, a few nice old relics, a bit of agate down there on the on the uh, Gilbert River. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video. That's assuming you still are watching because I'm pretty sure it's going to be lengthy. But um, no, it's been a lot of fun and uh, thanks for watching our video and happy hunting.